going on everyone? DSP here and welcome to the Week in Preview. Today is Sunday night, December 18th, 2016. And before we even get started, alright, I just want to come out kind of publicly and I want to apologize for my kind of negative attitude this past week in particular. Um, first of all, it's the holiday season. Let's face it, it's the Christmas season. It's the time of year when we should all be excited and we should be holly jolly and we should be nice to each other and we should not be dwelling on negative stuff you know what i mean and <clears throat> because of my illness because i've been sick i've had this bad cold now for two freaking weeks in particular this week it's really held me back <clears throat> from being able to do the work that i want to do to cover the games the way i want to cover them to review games to do the stuff that normally i'd be really going down with my nose to the grindstone at this time of year i haven't necessarily been able to do that this year because i've been so sick okay <clears throat> and i know Recently, I just kind of realized it today, uh, you know, I, it was funny because I'm I feeling terrible and earlier today even I was trying to, to stream and I couldn't and I, after streaming for like two hours I said I had to stop the stream because I felt so sick and I took a nap, you know, and kind of rethought a few things during this nap, had a little bit more perspective and I looked at my beautiful Christmas tree downstairs with all the lights and everything and I found my, my, my Santa hat here and everything, and I'm looking, I'm thinking, you know, even though I'm sick right now, it's no reason to be overly negative or whatever. And I know that on Twitter in particular, there's been some negative stuff I've been saying about different things, Final Fantasy and all kinds of stuff going on and kind of being just a, a, a jerk about it. And, you know, a few people called me out about it and said, you know, Phil, why are you being so so negative right now? Uh, you know, this isn't like you to be super overly negative all the time. Yeah, every once in a while you'll focus on it or whatever in a video, but... You know, right now it just seems like you're not in a good mood. And yeah, it's true. It's kind of been like a scroogey bah humbug for me this past week. Because <clears throat> I've been so sick. I haven't been able to work the way that I want to. I haven't been able to play the games and stuff that I want to do. And I just don't feel good. And I just want to let everyone know, first of all, it obviously has absolutely nothing whatsoever to do with you, the viewers. Okay? It's just a shitty situation right now with me being sick, not being able to get over this cold, and unfortunately not being able to go to the doctor because guess what? My new health insurance, my better health insurance, doesn't kick in until 2017. So right now if I go to the doctor, I still will have nothing covered. I'll be paying hundreds and hundreds of dollars out of pocket, which I can't afford right now. Which is why a lot of people are yelling at me, go to the doctor, go to the doctor. I can't. I'm literally in a situation here where I can't until 2017. Okay, so I'm suffering with this cold. I'm getting through it in my own way. Um, but that's not fair to you guys to, to go on Twitter and to see me saying, you know, kind of negative stuff and about things going on. And, you know, today in particular on pre-stream, I know I felt really bad today. I felt really under the weather. But I was trying to tough through it. And my pre-stream today was just vile. It was really just nasty. I attacked a couple people. And I, after listening back to it, I was like, I'm not even going to upload that. Like, that's something that is not characteristic for me. I shouldn't be like that especially this time of year, all right, is the, the the least time of the year where you should be so negative. So I apologize wholeheartedly for my behavior recently. If it has turned you off, <clears throat> whether it was on social media or a pre-stream or wherever where you heard me kind of being negative about stuff, I apologize. Once this cold gets over with and I can get full swing into my year-end stuff, I know I'm going to be a lot more positive. The problem is I need to get rid of it. <clears throat> Even now, doing this weekend preview is a, is a chore because the side of my throat's swollen up and I got phlegm and it's just not nice, okay? Um, here's the deal. I'm running behind because my sickness has made me take repeated time off, whether it was yesterday where I didn't live stream at all or today where I only live streamed a little bit and now I'm behind on gameplay, I'm behind on doing reviews, and obviously that, in turn, is going to force me to be behind on my year-end series. So, as long as my health holds out, all right, and that is a big if, we have to see what happens. As long as my health holds out, allow me to run through this holiday week schedule for you so you know exactly what to expect this coming week, okay? All right, right now I'm filming the week in preview. As soon as I finish filming this, I'm actually going to upload it and jump right back into Dead Rising 4 because I only got to play about an hour and a half of it earlier today before I literally was feeling so faint-headed and I almost felt like I had to throw up that I had to stop streaming and I had to go take a nap for an hour and a half, okay? I feel better now. So my voice is still strained, but I do feel better in the other regard. So I am going to play some more Dead Rising 4 immediately following the end of this uh, video. And then what I'm going to do is upload it because I didn't upload any of my Dead Rising videos yet today because I was just so under the weather, okay? 
So that's going to be later tonight, a big batch of Dead Rising 4 for those who've been waiting for those videos, all right? <clears throat> Tomorrow, if everything goes according to plan, all right, and I can do it, what I want to do is Final Fantasy 15 on my gameplay stream, and I want to continue to do the post-game stuff. As you know, I've opened up all the post-game dungeons now. I've done some of the tougher hunts. I actually just fought off these two Tonberry Knights that fought like, like Sith. From the freaking Star Wars series. It was crazy. It was such a tough fight. But I, I actually won it legitimately. I didn't have to summon or anything. I actually won it uh, head up. So I'd like to continue on doing those post-game dungeons. <coughs> and also <clears throat> these harder hunts. Now in addition to that I'm currently stacking experience. Because as I do these things what I want to do is stack maybe two or three of them. And then rest up with that three... 100% experience boost at that hotel in Altitia and maybe gain another 10, 15 levels so that I could go on to the next wave of more difficult stuff, okay? So, that's my kind of plans for tomorrow's gameplay stream in Final Fantasy 15. Now, some have said, when is Phil going to fight the Adamantoy's mountain monster? When is Phil going to do the puzzle dungeon? I am looking to do that stuff, okay? It's not that I'm writing it off. It's just that that's kind of stuff that I'm going to need to uh, to uh, put aside a lot of time to do. And right now, I'd rather just keep doing the stuff I'm doing that I could do with these little digestible streams. And then maybe when I have more time later in the week or even, you know, next week or whatever, <coughs> I can actually set aside, okay, this is going to be the beginning of the Puzzle Dungeon stream and stuff like that, okay? So it is coming, but not yet, all right? Not immediately tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow night, Monday night, I would like to work on my freaking review of The Last Guardian. I finished The Last Guardian on Thursday, but then on Friday I couldn't work on the review because I had to go out and do uh, errands and stuff, right? My grocery shopping for the week. Yesterday I was sick. Today I've been freaking sick and I'm behind. It's like, come on, you know, I need to get into the groove of getting this stuff done because I know that there's going to be tons of stuff coming up that I need to get to, but I need to review all these games I'm playing first, all right? <laughs> So if everything goes according to plan, I would like to start work on my Last Guardian review Monday night. That means I will do the voiceovers, I'll get the music, I'll do the thumbnail, and I'll probably start editing it. But I can't guarantee you that it's going to be ready Monday night, alright? But I'll, I'll do my best, we'll see what happens. Tuesday, two completely, totally different new things. Um, the Walking Dead is releasing two episodes of Season 3, both episodes 1 and 2, okay? Okay. <laughs> So on Tuesday, my main gameplay stream is going to be that. I'm going to do both episodes back to back, which I've never done before because they've always been released separately. But for whatever reason, they're releasing two episodes in the same day, the same time on Tuesday. So that'll be my gameplay stream for Tuesday. Tuesday night, <clears throat> offline, meaning it will not be live streamed. I'm going to be participating in a beta, a closed beta event. For a game that was highly anticipated this year but got delayed. It's kind of a mystery game. I don't want to announce what it is yet because I feel that it could be more interesting if I don't announce what it is. Okay. But you'll see some interesting footage if everything goes okay because you know what happens whenever they launch these betas, right? But if everything goes okay, you'll see some really fun and interesting first look footage of an up and coming game this Tuesday night. That will be uploaded exclusively to DSP Gaming. I won't be putting that, you know, I won't be live streaming it or anything. Uh, Wednesday is going to be highly dependent on what's going on with, for example, Dead Rising 4 and all that. More than likely, it'll probably end up being more Dead Rising 4 because I need to really get as far as I can to maybe finish that game so that could be the next game on the docket that I review, okay? So maybe Wednesday will be Dead Rising 4 live-streamed and then Wednesday night will either be me finishing up and releasing the Last Guardian review or maybe if I got lucky and I finished it Monday, maybe uh, Wednesday night I'll do a st another stream of Final Fantasy or maybe I'll play some Pokemon Moon, okay? And that's what you can expect Thursday and Friday is a balance between... Final Fantasy, Dead Rising 4 until it finishes, and po the return of Pokemon Moon as a mainstream game that I will be playing as a main game in my lineup till the end of the year, okay? Ooh. So, that's what you can expect for the whole week. Monday, it's going to be <clears throat> Final Fantasy and my Last Guardian review. Tuesday, Walking Dead, two episodes and a mystery beta Tuesday night. Wednesday, the return of Dead Rising 4, maybe the conclusion of Dead Rising 4, and we'll see what happens Wednesday night, and then Thursday and Friday, a balance between all the ongoing stuff that I've been doing. If I happen to finish any of these games during the week, yes, I will take the time at night to try to do those reviews, because I want to start getting stuff consistently released on KO Gaming from now for the next several weeks into a month with all the year-end series I'm going to be putting out, okay? <laughs> this coming Saturday... 
December 24th is Christmas Eve. I'm doing a special. That's right. On Christmas Eve, my gameplay stream is going to be... <clears throat> Excuse me. I know that's gross, but I have to do it or else I'm going to choke. It's going to be um, WWE 2K17 Holiday Simulations. Now, I do these every year, and they're always a hit. No matter what, even when I don't play WWE at all, it ends up being a hit if I do these kind of fantasy simulations. You're going to see crazy-ass characters. You're going to see people from pop culture, from cartoons, from politics, from everyone participating in <clears throat> this fantasy simulation matches that I'll put together in WWE 2K17. And that will be a live stream I'm doing on Christmas Eve around the normal time. If I need extra time, I even have the ability to go later because Leanna's actually working until I think around 5 p.m. that day. And we're going out to dinner after that. So... Hey, I could go, you know, until it needs to be done, and then we'll go out to dinner right after, all right? So that's going to be great. Christmas Eve, I hope you'll join me here, if you can, live on Twitch. And then, of course, that will be uploaded to DSP Gaming immediately following. And then on Christmas Day, doing things a little bit differently, okay? On Christmas Day, for those who can join me, I know not a lot of people will be able to. I know there are going to be a lot of people who are busy with their loved ones, who are busy with their families. You'll be traveling maybe to see friends and family and stuff on Christmas. That's perfectly fine. But for those who are around, <clears throat> I just want to do something a little different. On Christmas Day, I'm doing something a little different. I'm going to be streaming on Twitch, and it's basically going to be not anything serious. It's going to be... Uh, maybe I'll have a game or two on the docket that I'm going to play, but it will not be anything like, oh my god, I have to super hyper-focus on gameplay because this is such a serious playthrough. It's going to be the very first ever more laid-back stream that I've ever done. It's going to be more about me talking with my audience, asking them, you know, what did they do, for, what are you doing for Christmas, what did you get for Christmas, what presents did you, I'll be discussing what I got for Christmas and holiday traditions that I've done with my friends and family over the years on Christmas Day and stuff like that. We'll talk food, Christmas foods and things and everything that happens on Christmas between our different families and cultures. I think that could be a fun interactive stream, but it will be gameplay, but we'll be talking during the entire time, okay? <laughs> now, there'll also be other holiday-themed stuff. For example, I just did... Uh, filmed a house walkthrough where I went from all the rooms in my house and showed you my house uh, for the first time. I think in a year, I haven't really done one of those. And people have been asking to see one, so I figured, hey, it's Christmas. This is the best time of year to do it. You can see my Christmas tree and all our Christmas decorations and stuff. So that'll be going on the stream. Like, I'll de debut that live on the stream for those who want to see it. So basically, it's going to be the DSP Christmas special. Very different. Usually when I do a Christmas special, it's a highly edited video where I'm putting in hours and hours of work. I said, this year, I know I'm not going to have time to even do that, especially because I've been under the weather. <clears throat> Instead, why not do something more personal? So I think this will be fun. Now, it's going to be the usual time that I stream on next Sunday, okay? <clears throat> I can't uh, promise you it's going to be a certain length or whatever. It'll depend on who shows up and what we have to talk about. If I show up for an hour and we talk a little bit and I run the, the, the walkthrough video and we're all bored, fine. That's it. That'll be the end of the, the special. If a ton of people show up and we're all interacting and we're having fun with the stream, then maybe it'll go on for the length of a normal stream, okay? We'll see. And I may, we'll see, but if it goes well, I may leave that as an archived video on Twitch that people can come back and watch at their leisure. Rather than splitting it up into a million parts for YouTube, I may just put that on Twitch. And that'll be the very first laid-back stream I've ever done, and we'll see how it goes. How does that sound? I think it could be an awesome idea. I think it's something completely different and not characteristic of anything that I would usually do, which is why I'm pretty interested in it, okay? Now, that night, Christmas night, yeah, I'll be doing a week in preview, and I'll explain to you at that point, I'll have seen, gee, how far did I get in all these ongoing playthroughs? Which games do I still have to finish in review? I'll also, at that point, have a much better idea about the upcoming multiplayer event. For those who don't know, uh, I believe it's starting on the 27th. It might be the 26th now. I'm looking at my calendar. I have to look it up because I have it listed on my website, thekingofhate.com. I'm going to start doing multiplayer with the patrons, the people who pledged in November to be a part of a, a closed multiplayer event. It's hilarious. I'll be honest with everyone. I, I just looked at the thread. I didn't write anything down yet, but I looked at the thread. For the people who can participate, everyone either wants to play Overwatch or Battlefield 1. That's it. There hasn't been a single person who says they want to play Call of Duty. There hasn't been a single person who says they want to play Gears of War 4. And not a single person says they want to play Titanfall 2. Everyone literally either wants to play Overwatch or Battlefield. Apparently, those are the two big multiplayer games of 2016 that most people have and or are going to have by then. Um, <clears throat> so next week, 
in the weekend preview, I should be able to sit down and make a rough schedule and have more of an idea of what's going to be going with that multiplayer event. But just to give you some perspective, that final week of December is going to be multiplayer stuff with the patrons, me finishing up the game playthroughs that I'm doing right now, which are Gen Rising 4, Final Fantasy 15, and Pokemon Moon, me reviewing all of those games for KO Gaming, and then finally beginning my year-end series. Now... I didn't even have a chance to put up a poll yet where you guys can vote on the funniest moments of the year. So it's obvious I can't do that yet. What I'll probably do is sometime this week, hopefully, take some time out to make those polls on thekingofhate.com. I'll direct you in a video and on Twitter and everywhere to go over there and start voting. And the voting will start going there so that at least I'll have the data to do the funniest moments of the year countdown. I'm going to start with the most disappointing games of the year because that's usually what I always start with and that's the easiest one to draw upon because I have everything for that, okay? I can't do the Game of the Year awards till I finish the games I'm playing, right? I can't tell you Final Fantasy XV, Dead Rising 4, or Pokemon Moon, where they rank amongst the other games this year until I finish them and I review them. So I need to do that first before I can do my Game of the Year awards, all right? So it's going to be disappointing games of the year, Funniest Moments of the Year, Game of the Year Awards, and we'll see how long it takes me to do all that stuff, all right? <sighs> One thing I actually wanted to do this year was categories. Like, what's the best RPG of 2016? What's the best shooter of, of 2016? But with the fact that I'm running behind so badly right now, I don't know if I'm going to have a chance to do that. We'll see, though, okay? But I was trying to remind everyone, all these reviews and the year-end series are all going on KO Gaming this year. So you have to head over, youtube.com forward slash KO Gaming 1, subscribe now. Because in the next couple of days to weeks, you're going to see a bunch of videos go live over there. I know people have been like, Phil doesn't put any videos over there anymore. You know why? It's because I've been so busy, all right? Now, <clears throat> once all that's out of the way, January is a dead month until literally Resident Evil 6, uh, excuse me, Resident Evil 7 releases at the end of the month. So what am I going to be doing all month? I have some good ideas. Number one, I'm dying to play a classic Final Fantasy game. Now, I've been kind of balancing the idea of several different ones. Final Fantasy 7, Final Fantasy 9, both are games that people have been asking me to play, but a game that I've really wanted to play for a long time and never played. I don't know if you can even see that. I'll tell you what it is in a second. Final Fantasy 4 for the Nintendo DS, okay? This version of the game has improved graphics, improved sound, lots of game tweaks that actually make it better than the American SNES version. It actually returns it to the difficulty of the original Japanese game, which was very difficult, and then it dumbed it down for US audiences, which I don't like. I like that it's the original difficulty. It even has <clears throat> additional post-game content that adds to the story and adds to everything in the game. So Final Fantasy IV, I'd like to play, and I'm really strongly leaning towards doing this. The only reason, it's gonna be the only video series ever, or well, excuse me, Oh, the second game ever that I'm going to do a walkthrough for. That's right. When I play Final Fantasy IV, it will not be a playthrough. It will be a walkthrough. Because just like Final Fantasy VI, this is probably the game I've played just as much as Final Fantasy VI. The games I've played the most in my entire life. The most amount of times. And I know all the secrets of this game. I, I know where all the hidden items are. I know everything about it. Okay? So I'm really excited... <clears throat> to be playing Final Fantasy 4 again, and I think this is what I'm going to be doing in January. In addition to this, at the same time, I'm going to begin a Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time on the Nintendo 3DS playthrough as well. Because people have been saying, Phil, Breath of the Wild is coming out this year. We don't know when because it got delayed again. Great. But it's coming out in the one game you never really played in Zelda lore that really is in integral to all of the Zelda franchise story is the Ocarina of Time. And it's true. I never played it. I owned it on the Nintendo 64 I played it and didn't really like it. I liked the t at that point in my life. I had only known the top-down 2D Zeldas, the classic Zelda and Link to the Past, and I hated that the series went 3D. I didn't like the controls. I didn't like the camera. I was so frustrated. But now, I've now played all of these modernized Zeldas. I'm used to the modernized Zelda. And, you know, Ocarina of Time 3DS had some improvements and things added to the game that made it a lot better. I think it makes sense... For me to play this game in January while I still have time to do it. So two awesome downtime games I'll be playing in January. I think that's going to be an awesome month. And then, of course, I'll probably have some more time in there to maybe squeeze one or two other things in there. I've actually heard there's going to be a few other things that may or may not be squeezed in or released during that month. Until Resident Evil 7 comes out at the end of the month. Okay? So now you know what to expect, not only for the next week, but pretty much the next several weeks into the early 2017. Thank you, everyone, for being patient through this sickness of mine. And again, I want to wholeheartedly apologize for being negative recently. It's because I've been sick and I haven't felt good. 
<clears throat> it really sucks when all I want to do is play games and have fun and share those experiences with you and review the games and put out the quality content I've been doing. And because of this, this, I can't do it. And, uh, you know, I got to try to get myself positive again, back to the holiday spirit. You may, maybe, you may not believe this. <sighs> positive thinking and positivity, actually, it's been scientifically proven, can help you be healthy. It actually can help your immune system to get more energy to boost itself by thinking positively. So I think what I need to do, I need to get hyped for Christmas coming up. I need to get excited for all the games coming up. I need to get excited for reviews again. We gotta get into the Christmas spirit around here. I'm wearing the hat. I'm getting ready, goddammit. And I gotta stop it with the humbugs and be more with the ho-ho-hos. You know what I mean? So, thank you everyone for watching the weekly preview. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Last but not least, real quick plug for patreon i have not mentioned it at all all right in this video but i just want to let you know it's there this month the big goal is that marathon chill stream i want to do at the end of january right before resident evil 7 releases uh, right now we're on par to actually hit the goal but i get the feeling near the end of the month which is what always happens some people will lower their pledges so i don't want everyone to just think that we're safe in addition as you know your pledges are helping me to do this full time and right now a lot of difficulties on youtube i actually looked at my youtube stats for december they're not good, okay? They're just not. They're terrible. It's YouTube's basically telling me this is like one of the worst months of the year, which is complete bullshit. It's the complete polar opposite. December's always the best month of the year for me, and they're telling me it's the worst. Obviously, YouTube is screwing up with, the, with their... Everyone knows the algorithms are messed up. <clears throat> the sub counts are wrong and unsubbing people against their will, and YouTube is literally coming out with videos saying nothing is wrong and denying any kind of culpability or responsibility for the fact that they've screwed up their own business. I want to keep doing this, but I need your help. Patreon is the way that you can let me keep doing this. A dollar a month will seriously allow me to keep doing this as a job, so please consider pledging if you haven't. That's it, everyone. Thank you very much. Without further ado, thank you to the following November patrons who have made this upcoming multiplayer event possible. That's it, everyone. Happy holidays. Have a good week. I'll see you at the end of this week for all the holiday festivities, but in the meantime, I hope you'll join me daily for all the usual stuff. Thanks. Peace out. See you then, and thanks to these November patrons.